Ebana mambo vipi mimi naitwa Bill the African Grip sana kwenye IOTV pamoja na miladio.com. Sababu yangu kuwa hapa kwa siku ya leo ni kuweza kupa five mambo matano yaliyotokea kwenye msiba siku ya Jumanne uh, wakati ndugu yetu kaka yetu bwana Ivan Semwanga analazwa kwenye nyumba yake ya milele. Mambo matano ni haya hapa. Jambo la kwanza tumekuja kugundua kuwa bwana Ivan alikuwa ni mtu ambao alikuwa anafanya sana kazi, alikuwa na bidii na alikuwa anajituma sana. Na miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo unaweza kaona kutokana na jitiada na bidii ya kazi yake ni shule 30 alizokuwa nazo ikiwemo shule za kutoa elimu, shule za nursing pamoja na shule za kufundisha policemen, yani police technical schools. Na police technical schools unaweza kujiuliza hii ni kuja namna gani? Hii ni ku, ku, hii ni kutokana kuwa serikali ya South Africa iliweza kumwamini na kuweza kuinvest hela katika shule zake kuweza kumskuma kuendelea kwa sababu waliona vision yake. Na jambo la pili ambalo limeweza kushangaza watu wengi katika msiba huu ni pale Zari alipoingia katika eneo la mazishi kama mtu mmoja mkubwa sana katika serikali ya Uganda. Kwa maana gani? Zari alikuwa na walinzi ambao waliniingia kwenye milango ya gari iliyomuingiza kwenye ukumbi lakini haikuishi hapo. Inasemekana kuwa wale ambao walikuwa wanatembea nje ya gari kulikuwepo na askari ambao walikuwa namlinda. <tos> na ulinzi wote huu ulikuwa ni wa kumlinda Zari ili aweze kuingia na kutoka eneo hilo kwa salama jambo la tatu kati yale matano ambayo yalitokea kwenye msiba wa bwana Ivan ni kuwa uh, baada kuweza kutoa historia ya jinsi gani kundi ya the rich gang family liweza kuanza walianza nini nani kaanzisha kundi ambao uh, kwa yule ambao utakuwa ufahamu kundi kaanzisha marem Ivan Semwanga na lengo lake kubwa lilikuwa ni kusaidia vijana ambao wako chini ya miaka umri ya mwaka 40 kuweza kujiendeleza kibiashara na kuwa ni na pia kuwa na muono wa mbali. Baada ya kuweza kutoa historia ya kundi la The Rich Gang Family pia waliweza kutoa jambo ambalo lilisimua wengi kuweza kujua kwamba Ivan alikuwa na mtoto wa kike aliyejulikanaye kama Win. Lakini baada ya RTV kuweza kuzungumza katika exclusive interview na mlengo mwenyewe Zari akatoa upande wake na kusema kuwa huyu mtoto Win hakuwa mtoto wa kumzaa Ivan Semwanga isipokuwa ni mtoto ambao alikuwa adopted na Ivan Semwanga baada ya kaka yake kupigwa risasi akiwa anamuokoa au ku protect Zari enzi walivyovamiwa na majambazi hayo yote tumekuja kuyafahamu kupitia siku ya msiba wa bwana Ivan Semwanga Ivan amekuwa na watoto watatu he had three boys and that's it the whole world knows the kid they are talking about in question way back tulipata majambazi when i was still with him and then they came home um 
we, we, I, until today, I don't know what they wanted. So as we were driving in, they, they came in with us, and Wakatambia gave me the handbag, where is the safe, nini nini. And then I said, like, there's no money, kila kitu. So Ivan was in town. Nika negotiate now, sana, sana, sana. So during the negotiation, Kakake Ivan, he was a little bit mentally kidogo this time. See your sign, but you know, Sazaina is equal then. So when he came out of the house, Nilkua engine Miss Ma Bila Kuingi and Dani and Nyumba, but we were already inside the yard. Yeah. No, they were already there, Ni Miss Mama, before you enter like the main door. So yeah, Alkua and Dani, when he had the whole misunderstanding outside, he came out to stab one of the guys. He shot him. He died. So Brian Alkwa na wim toto wini. And Winnie was um was he was she six or eight? No one said she looks eighteen or something. He was I think she was six or eight. So Ivan said, Your father died because he was saving my family. I'm going to adopt you and make you my own child. I'll take care of you in Akila Kitu. So that is Ivan's brother's kid. But we adopted her that we take care of her until today she calls me her mom. Yeah, so it's not like oh kuna mtoto ni no 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 no. Yeah. Na jambo la nne ni pale ambapo Bobby Wine pamoja na Chameleon waliingia eneo la Misa wakiwa wamepiga suti na wamekuja pia kumsindikiza ndugu yao, rafiki yao, kaka yao, bwana Ivan Semwanga katika vigelegele na shangwe walipokelewa na watu ambao wamekuja kumsindikiza pia Ivan. Lakini kilicho shangaza wengi ni kuwa watu hawa waliongea mawili matatu juu ya marehemu na jinsi gani alivyokuwa na impact katika maisha yao. Kikweli yani ningesema hivi ati So now to now so now to now you can you can see all the people. People are feeling really really bad. Ni, ni, ni kitu cha ajabu ningesema hivi. Uh, kiukweli Ivan Ivan has been everybody's friend. Na mimi kama mimi kama rafiki yake. I'm so I'm so hurt. Lakini hatuna chochote cha kufanya. Kuliko kumwombea Mungu. Yeah. So God has mercy. Yeah. Ila roho yake still lives on. No, Ivan Ivan amekuwa na roho tofauti. Unajua? Ivan mwenyewe amekuwa mtu tofauti. Isi uh, I don't know what to say but he's been um, he's been a strong man. Strong man. Um, he's been through a lot of problems and all that but he's been a strong man. And uh, we shall miss him a lot. Uh, the last time I was with Ivan um, he and his friends threw me a party. He threw me and my wife a party. Oh, on our fifth wedding anniversary. That was the last time we were together on a party. Senior President, yeah. Advisor, Special Parishions. Any moment that stands out when you ever, from the time you first met him to the to the last time you met him, any moment that stands out? Every moment has been an outstanding moment. Every moment has been very outstanding with him. Uh, Ivan is an outstanding character. And uh, every single encounter with him can be memorized. Yes. Thank you so much Bobby Wine. Bless you. Anytime bro. Itakumbukwa miaka ya nyuma Ivan alishawahi kualika Bobby Wine pamoja na Chameleon kwenda huko nchini South Africa kuweza kuwaburudisha waganda ambao waishio nchini humo. Na jambo la tano na la mwisho katika yale matano yaliyotokea katika siku ya msiba wa Ivan Semwanga ni pale ambapo watu walikuwa nakaribia kumaliza misa vibaka wajulikanao kama kifesi walivyoanza kuweza kusumbua kupiga watu matofari na kuweza kuwaibia vitu ambao walikuwa navyo vitu kama sim vitu kama ipad na vitu vingine ambao vya thamani ambao walikuwa wametembea nao kuja navyo kwenye msiba waliweza kuibiwa na vibaka hawa ambao walikuwa napiga watu na kuwapora vitu vyao kuatishio kuachoma visu kitu ambacho pia kilisababisha polisi kuweza kuingilia kati kwa namna moja au nyingine kuweza kuokoa kile ambacho kilikuwa kinaendelea mfano mzuri ni kuwa alikuwepo bwana mkubwa mmoja ajulikanaye kama captain Juma Seiko aliyejaribu ali kupora simu yake alitoa bastola na kumkimbiza kibaka kumpiga risasi mbili kwenye miguu na kutupa pale chini kwa maneno yake alisema Huyu sina cha kumfanyia ila msaidie ni maskini mpelekeni hospitali. Hiyo ni kuwa baada ya kumweza kumpiga lisasi kitendo ambacho pia kiliwafanya vibaka hao wengine kuweza kusambaratika na kukimbia. Hayo ndiyo mambo matano ambayo yametokea kwenye msiba wa bwana Ivan Semwanga hapa nchini Uganda alivyokuwa nazikwa siku ya Jumanne hapa nchini Uganda. E bwana shukran sana kwa kuangalia ITV pamoja na milad.com live and direct wakiwa nchini Uganda wakitoa hizi exclusive story 
stories ambao zimetokana na msiba wa bwana Ivan Semwanga ambaye amelazwa kwenye sehemu yake ya milele siku ya Jumanne iliyopita hapa nchini Uganda. Shukran sana kwa kuangalia ITV pamoja na kusoma zile habari ambazo zinatoka kwenye miladi.com pamoja na kuzangalia kwenye YouTube ya IOTV. Mimi naitwa Build the African nikiwa nchini Uganda katika jiji la Kampala.